What's going on, guys? So, got to talk about the PS5 again. The reason being, because somebody decided to predict that it could be coming soon. Earlier than later. <laughs> well, pardon me. Um, well, the reason I got to talk about it is because I don't think when people predict stuff like that, I don't think they think too far ahead of themselves. I don't think they put all aspects into place. I don't think they drop the puzzle pieces where they need. I think in logical terms of the numbers games, like a lot of people like to hit me with numbers like 60 million or 40 million, 60 million, 50 million, whenever, whatever was the number when they hit me with the number, whatever it was. Be. When I think numbers, I think, okay, previous gen, last gen, this gen. Get what I'm saying to you? Um, I don't think PlayStation is anywhere near ready for a PlayStation 5. They're just not. PlayStation 4, I've said this before, it's got to outsell the PS3. It just has to. There's no way they're going to be able to convince their shareholders, their investors, into a PS5. They're just not going to. Oh, but the PS4 sold really well. You're saying that. You are saying that. I'm not. Listen to me now. You as a fan are saying the PS4 sold really well at 60 million. You're forgetting previous generations. PS3 did not outsell PS2. PS2 is their best selling generation. Sony cannot convince investors to reinvest in a generation when their next generations have yet to beat previous generations. How do you convince investors to keep investing in you when you're showing them that your greatest generation is a PS2 and the PS3 did not outsell the PS2 and your PS4 cannot beat the worst generation you've ever had? How do you convince somebody to invest in you? Do you see my point? PS5 will not happen until the PS4 beats, not matches, but beats beats the PS3. And I don't mean just beats it by like a million or two. I mean beats it. I mean dominates it. We're talking at least a hundred million, at least. And that's me being very generous. We're talking, this thing has at least another five years. Five, because it's still only sitting at 60 mil. They haven't come out and said, oh, the PS4 is now sitting at 70. No, 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 no. That number hasn't been released yet. This thing is still sitting somewhere in the 60 million fucking somewhere. You have to realize that nobody's going to invest in a PS5. Nobody. PS2 sits in the number one spot. PS3 is in the, what, number two? And PS4 is sitting in the third. And it's like this. Here's PS2, here's PS3, and here's PS4. And the investors are going to be like, you're slowly dying. Why would I invest in your company when you can't make fucking sales? Your sales are slowly showing your company is just dying. I'm not going to do that. Just close your doors. Don't even bother. That's what they're going to tell them. Why would they invest? You tell me. Why would you invest in a company that can't outsell their previous generation? And if you try to hit me with some bullshit like, well, the games, those developers can take their games to other consoles. Sony doesn't have any games made by Sony. Majority of their first party games are bought studios that are other companies. Seriously, Naughty Dog is bought from... Naughty, they're independent, but I mean, come on now. Sony pays them a large chunk of change so they won't put their game on someone else. That's all that is. Same thing with Microsoft when it came to Bungie. They just gave them a large sum of change so they wouldn't get their game to fucking Sony. That's all that is. So if Sony vanishes, Naughty Dog will put their game on Microsoft or Nintendo. That is all that is. That doesn't mean we'll never see Naughty Dog again. Sony doesn't own Naughty Dog. Sony does not own whoever makes God of War. Sony's not a game developer. They don't own them. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
So again, think about that. PlayStation 4 has a lot of work as a console in itself. Never mind VR. Never mind PlayStation Plus. Never mind PlayStation Now. Those in themselves are horrible because they don't talk about those. Why do you think Sony doesn't touch them? Why do you think they're not going, let's talk about those numbers? No, 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 no. PlayStation doesn't talk about anything that's not beneficial to anything positive. Seriously. PlayStation VR is not sitting above 5% of PlayStation 4 owners right now. I think it's still at like 2 or 3%. It's not even above 5 There's a real good reason for that, but I'm not going to talk about it because it's just obvious. If you don't know, then just type it on GameStop or Walmart and look at the game list and you'll figure it out for yourself. But it's not pretty, okay? They committed like... Uh, corporate suicide with the PS Vita even though PlayStation 4 remote play feature relies on it then you have PlayStation Now which is you having to pay for backwards compatibility they just uploaded a few games from the PlayStation 4 generation to PlayStation Now making it uh, basically the equivalency of Xbox Play Now or Play Pass Although Play Pass is a better feature, if you take into consideration, pardon me, if you take into consideration, Xbox is you download the game to your hard drive. You're not streaming the game, you're downloading it to the hard drive, making it better because you're not eating your Wi Fi anymore. You, you have the game and you can play it, and then you just delete it and you get rid of it. That makes Xbox's Play Pass better. I like that idea. A lot of people like the idea you can just stream the game and whoop de whoop. But that eats up all your Wi-Fi, okay? A lot of people have those caps. You'll go through that fucking quickly, okay? You'll like that. That's a problem. Not to mention a lot of PlayStation Now games. They, they were, I don't know if they're still doing it. They were charging for certain games, even though they had a lot of games on there. Certain games developers would decide they wanted an extra piece of money for. That's horrible. That's fucking terrible to do. If it's part of PlayStation Now, let it be part of PlayStation Now, but that's not what they were doing. I don't know if they changed it or not. I tried it when it first came out and decided that was a horrible fucking thing. I didn't want nothing to do with it. So, um, and they were up there in price too, by the way. You can pay $10 to get PlayStation Now, and then developers would be like, no, you're going to pay an extra $20 to have this game for three months, and that's it. And I was like, man, fuck that. I can get a PS3, play every title on this bitch, and pay $20 and own the fucking game. That was back then. I don't know if they changed it. They might have. But again, PlayStation Now, something PlayStation doesn't talk about because the numbers are just not there. Nobody's really subscribing. They're not making any money. And... Again, this is just something, how do you explain this shit to your investors when it comes to, hey, we need investors for the PS5? Well, again, PS4 isn't outsold on the fucking PS3 side of things. PS3 didn't outsell on the PS2 side of things. So do you really think they want a PS5 to come out if the PS4 hasn't outsold the PS3? They can't handle two generations that undersold. They just can't do it because who's going to invest in that? You? I mean, if you will, that's fine, but do you have the kind of money that Sony really wants? Get what I'm saying? Are you willing to take that kind of a loss? That's a lot of money to take a loss on. So, think about that. Okay? And, again, people making crazy uh, accusations, accusations, accusations about fucking PlayStation 5 right around the corner. I think you're just forgetting that. I think legitimately, hey man, PlayStation 5 is right around the corner because reasons. You're just fucking upset that the PlayStation 4 Pro does not have a 4K Blu-ray player and you're just coming up with wild things to be like, hey, PlayStation's last fucking bell and whistle is 4K Blu-ray. And more power to you. More power to you. But what happens when bells and whistles are no longer a thing? When the digital era hits, when everything goes digital, when physical no longer matters. I know this is a Switch game, but follow me here. 
when these no longer matter, when you don't go buy physical and you download everything and Blu-ray players no longer matter, RAM no longer matters, all that shit no longer matters because it's just digital. What happens then? Okay? What happens when the digital side of things kick in? And all that preset bullshit, you know, is just there, okay? Because that shit no longer matters. What happens then? What happens when 4K is no longer a thing because we just don't care? I mean, we already don't care, but what what happens then when they just can't talk about it no more because it's no longer nothing? You see what I'm saying? And they have to focus on the game. They are forced to fucking focus on the game. They are forced to be basically like Nintendo at E3 this fucking year and come out and Reggie spoke for like two minutes, walked off, and they did basically game, 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 game. What happens then? You see what I'm saying? Because neither Microsoft nor Sony are gaming companies. Neither one. What happens then? Get what I'm saying to you? Sony has one bell left. 4K Blu-ray player. Microsoft's already used it. What happens next? Microsoft is trying to figure that out. Sony... They don't fucking know. Because they don't know where to go. They literally, literally got a long stretch of road ahead of them. Because PS4 cannot, not end underselling the PS3. It just can't. It cannot undersell the PS3. Because if it does... Who are you going to convince to invest into a PS5? Fans will buy it, sure, but who else? It will not sell like the PS4. Fucking believe that. I don't care what they do. It will not sell like the PS4 because everyone's going to be like, dude, these things are just, they're, they're not growing. They're just underselling. And right now, like I said, right now, it sits at 60 plus million. Which is still below PS3. It's still below. PS3 sold 80 plus million. 60 plus million is lower than 80 people. That's still technically a failure. So let the PS5 come out when the PS4 is still a failure to the PS3. That is not a good look. And that is two generations that are not a good look. So say what you will. Thumbs down if you want. I don't care, but you cannot deny that. You just can't. Oh, well, PS4 sold it faster. That's one fucking thing, dude. One fucking thing. Can you think of two? Chances are no. Well, the games are good, but the games have little to nil to do with the fact Sony can't move the hardware. See what I'm saying? The games can move all day. That's fine. Here, you want games? You want to move the fucking games? Here, move the games. That's the easy part of the job, because they don't do anything with the hardware. You want to move the games? That's the easy part. Because people buy the hardware to play the games. But the fact that you can't outsell your previous generation for two generations in a row is the fucking problem. And they got to figure out how to fucking fix that. And with companies that, like... Sony and Microsoft that rely heavily on bells and whistles, the bells and whistles are just not catching like they used to. And you can sit there and say that's not true, but is it? 